This presentation will focus on coherent scatter. Coherent scatter may also be called classical, Thompson, or Raleigh scatter. It is one of four possible interactions that occur when radiation leaves the x-ray tube and subsequently interacts with matter. This presentation is narrated by John Toman. Of the four forms of x-ray attenuation, coherent scatter involves x-ray photons with the least amount of energy. In this diagram, we will see our atom to the left and the photon of x-ray energy to the right. In this simulation, the photon will have a very low energy, let's say less than 10 keV. The photon strikes one of the outer shell electrons and is absorbed by that electron. Since the photon didn't have enough energy to dislodge the electron, the electron stays in its orbital. As the electron circulates around the periphery of the atom, it wobbles back and forth with the frequency of the initial X-ray photon. Eventually, the wobbling electron re-emits the photon in a new and random direction. This re-emitted photon has basically the same energy as the initial photon, but a totally new direction. To summarize, coherent scatter involves radiation which is normally found well below the diagnostic spectrum. One would expect that the 2.5 millimeters of filtration found in most modern X-ray tubes would pretty much eliminate this level of radiation from our useful beam. Coherent scatter accounts for less than 5% of the radiation produced at a 70 kV level, so it has little impact on most conventional X-ray examinations. And finally, of the four forms of X-ray attenuation, classical scatter has a number of different names associated with it, and it's a good idea to be acquainted with each. This will end my presentation. Thank you.